What's going on people? My name is Drew and I watch too many movies and here I am talking about another one, Cuckoo from Neon. This movie stars Hunter Schaefer as Gretchen who is a teenager who moves to the German Alps to live with her father, stepmother, and her half-sister who is mute. After Gretchen is attacked by a strange hooded woman, she finds herself trapped in a situation that is increasingly dangerous, disturbing, and downright devious. So I kind of want to talk about this movie in three sections and the first section I want to talk about is the writing. I feel like Tillman Singer's writing is on perfect display in the first act of this movie. One thing I look for when it comes to horror, suspense, mysteries, or thrillers is I look for that attention to detail, not really in terms of the plot, although that is important, but with the characters themselves and not with their expository dialogue, but with non-verbal storytelling. I like to see when there are details in the film that are consistent with what we've been told about the character. For example, I told you that Gretchen's sister is mute and it helps the film, in my opinion, to have some Something like a poster on the wall in the background that has sign language on it. Or the fact that Gretchen is in a band and we actually see her texting with her band and them sending her like a sample of their new song and watching her rehearse it and things like that. I appreciate those kind of details. I also thought the first act worked really well on second watch because I did see the movie for a second time yesterday that probably already spoils for you how I felt about it. You're able to pick up on a couple of those details that end up being very relevant once you get to the second second and third act of the movie. And there's also some really good storytelling with Gretchen. We learn things about her without her having to outright say them. You know, we can tell, okay, she doesn't really have the best relationship with her dad. She doesn't have the best relationship with her sister. She actually doesn't even call her her sister at the beginning of the movie. And all of those things are important. I love when a character can just present themselves to the audience and be very understandable and relatable without them having to go down the list of their character bio. I also like that Tillman doesn't waste a lot of time introducing us to Gretchen. We get to know her really quick, we're able to relate to her really quick, and that's good because she's carrying a lot of this movie, and it being a thriller, you want to pretty much hit the ground running and go ahead and get into the shits as quickly as possible. Now, this really good writing continues into the second act, but I feel like the second act is where Tillman's direction really shines. I really like them behind the camera. The cinematography of this movie is great from beginning to end, not only with those wide shots shots of when we're outside of the resort looking at trees or looking at long roads and things like that but also when we're inside it feels very claustrophobic but yeah this movie did a good job to keep me in suspense and keep me on my toes I will say the second act of the movie does slow a tad I know for a lot of people slow is kind of a code word for boring but I would never call this movie boring and I wouldn't call the middle of the movie boring I would just say that they definitely hit the brakes a little bit because we're learning more about the situation that we're in we're learning more about this resort. We're learning more about the dad's boss and we're learning more about whatever this crazy ass situation that's going on is. Everything that I've been talking about from Tillman's writing and direction, the cinematography, the sound design is great, the costume design is great, the effects are great. I feel like all of these things culminate in the third act and work with Hunter Schaefer's electrifying performance to really hit home for the climax. The crescendo of this movie is worth the price of admission alone. Those last 30 to 35 minutes because this movie almost feels like it transforms into a different genre as you're watching it. It starts out as this suspenseful mystery kind of turns into a bit of a horror drama and then by the end of it, it's just full on sci-fi thriller and I dug the shit out of it. I really related to Gretchen, but I also felt her motivation. I won't spoil for you what she's trying to do at the end of this movie, but I felt that. <laughs> and whenever she's getting hunted by either this hooded woman or one or two of the other adversaries, it, it, it really ratcheted up the tension and I think Hunter Schaefer really shines in these scenes. Not not to say that she isn't as great in the first two acts because she definitely is but it's specifically in this third act where she gets to let loose with a lot of emotion a lot of badassness a lot of action and I feel like it all worked I feel like it fired on all cylinders she's working beautifully with the rest of the cast she looks great and yeah, I, I, I dug the climax. I guess I just love the fact that there's so many weird movies coming out lately. There's so many films that feel like the filmmakers, not just the writers and directors, but the actors, the costume designers, the cinematographers, the editors, everybody's coming together to make something interesting and to make something that whether you enjoy it or not, 
leaves a bit of an impact on you, leaves something memorable for you. And it feels like, you know, th it feels like these are passion projects rather than just some fat guy in a suit coming by being like, hey, we want to make this movie because our focus groups show that it's really popular and we'll make a lot of money off the merch. So... You want to get to it? That's not what these movies are supposed to be about. And I understand. I know I love a lot of the studio movies. I just reviewed Deadpool and Wolverine and Inside Out 2, both coming out of Disney. I loved both of those movies. I'm not against like studio corporate Hollywood films. I can't lie though. There's something about these more low budget, really straightforward and focused films that just bring a lot for me. And I love that Tillman kind of took this old school kind of retro, you know, straightforward thriller and really injected a lot of energy to it. I know I said it slows down a bit in the second act, but specifically in the first act and the third act, I just felt like the pacing is perfect for this movie. And there are a lot of really cool shots that I could see myself like putting on a t-shirt and wearing on Halloween. I don't know. I, I just, I dug the aesthetic of this movie. I dug the vibe of this movie and the look of of it. I dug the feel. I just felt like it fired on all cylinders. I wasn't doing backflips about the movie the first time I watched it, but ever since then, and especially since the second time I saw it, it's been growing on me, dude. I, I, I dug this movie a lot. Yeah, I'm going to give Cuckoo a very enthusiastic A-. minus. Yeah, if Cuckoo wasn't on your radar, I definitely recommend it. And also, shout out to Tillman Singer, Hunter Schaefer, and everybody else involved with the film because I think they put out a gem. Question of the day, what's your favorite female-led thriller? I have quite a few back here. Hit me with that like button, hit me with that subscribe button, and I definitely got more videos on the way, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.